Grimoires are books that all magicians use to contain their magic runes and summons. The first time I ever held one was in that tower. The Silver Star. The famous tower that still stands beyond the dark forest. I'll never forget those five long days I spent there. My name is Lilith Blonde. I was a student at the Magic Academy. Ah, what joy the stars bring to us. Welcome, Miss Lilith Blonde. Have you ever ridden a dragon before? These mountains are quite treacherous. I wouldn't let my fear of dragons keep me from coming to this wonderful place. It's an honor to be enrolled by the Binder of Archmagenitude, Sir Gamaldor. So, you know of our academy. We invite talented children from around the kingdom. Here, you will learn the knowledge to properly take over for us weary magicians. Sir, am I going to be your apprentice? Now there's no need for that. We are pupil and mentor. Please, call me Professor. I will do my very best to instruct you. This is a dream come true. Our teachers are all famous magicians. Study hard under any teacher you like. Lectures are scheduled around you. Nothing should be rushed, you know. Now, let me introduce you to the caretaker for your room. The name's Gaff. Nice to meet you. Oh, how cute! You're an elf, right? I've never met one before. Cute? I'm not cute. Now, handsome. Yeah, that's more like it. Go on and say it. Um, uh, uh handsome. Anyway, I'm Lilith Blonde. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> You'll fit right in soon enough. I had him prepare your room. You better go get some rest. I will, Professor. I'm looking forward to class tomorrow. Please excuse me. Oh, I almost forgot. There is something I have to tell you. Do not wander the halls at night. Well, 
Welcome. So you're the new student? Y yes. My name is Lilith Blonde. I've just arrived. It's nice to meet you. Oh, come on now. Don't be so damn proper. I've only been here for six months. I'm Margarita Surprise. And on my head is my familiar, Shirley. I'm glad there's someone around my age. I was a little scared of being alone. Then we're friends, starting right now. Going to your room, right? Follow me. Oh, thank you, Margarita. I had your room when I first got here. The floor is new, but it creaks a lot. You should complain to the teachers and get a new room as soon as possible. But this will be my first time having my own room. I don't want to sound ungrateful. Oh? But I still say you should complain. There's a bunch of open rooms anyway. I did see a lot of hallways and doors. I hope I don't get lost. You're from the South, right? I heard the city is a fun place to live. Actually, I never went into the city. I had to take care of my little brothers. And we lived in the countryside. So, where do you come from? Just an ultra-conservative village. Professor Gamble rescued me from there. This place may be boring, but at least they don't burn us at the stake. Uh, I see. I heard that after we graduate, we'll even be able to enter the royal palace. <laughs> we could get lucky, you know? <laughs> I'll try my best. I'll become a great magician for my brother's sake. I just want to feel the night air. Did you forget what the professor said? You wouldn't survive long out there. You see, sometimes the ghost of a scary witch stalks these halls. On a quiet night, just like tonight, a man met the witch in the hallway. And then what happened? The witch took him away. The professors couldn't do anything to help him. But here's the scary part. Three days later, he was found cruelly tortured. And his face was unrecognizably... Ah! Is it the witch's ghost? Margarita's voice! Oh, no! Oh, that was scary. That witch's ghost nearly found me. You wouldn't live long out there either. But you won't stop until you get caught. Leave me alone, Shorty. Sometimes there's nothing better than a moonlit stroll. I'm just glad you're okay. But if the ghost is so dangerous, why don't the teachers get rid of her? She's perfect for keeping naughty kids in their rooms at night. Her presence has faded. It seems the witch has passed. Really? Then let's go. Sorry for coming so late. Thanks, Lilith. I think I'll pass on the night air. You be careful. It's better for us both. I will. I'm going straight to bed. Oh, so sleepy. Ready to go. In this world, surrounded by mana, you must learn that there are special rules. And at the same time, a magician must train oneself to use it correctly. Magic is a supernatural power. To control it, we must use the power of spirits. Small elves who live in the forest are especially friendly towards people. They may be whimsical tricksters, but they're also known for being good to us. Learning to borrow their power is always the first step to becoming a magician. Now, through the doors in the back, let's try actually using magic. Be 
because of their diligence, no elf can refuse to lend his powers to a magician. Nice to meet you, friend of elves. Crystals are the source of magical power. They are the crystalline form of mana. As the elves bring mana into the rune, it converts into the magician's power. Now go on. Try asking them. Show us the rune and crystal you want us to go to, and we'll go get the mana. Here I go, Professor. To work with runes, you need mana. Always keep an eye on your reserves. Now, try summoning ten elves. Want something? 
forget, this is the first step to using magic. <sighs> How's that? Enough, Bartito. Cease bothering me. What's gotten into you? You're acting strange, Hiram. It's as if that pale-faced witch doctor stole your soul along with your blood. Don't you ever say that again. How dare you speak ill of Miss Opalneria? You seem to be quite fond of her. Who's there? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to eavesdrop. You must be the new student Margarita was talking about. Lilith, was it? Y yes, that's right. And you are? I am here a month. Mild-mannered student. Hmm. <laughs> She'll be gone soon enough. Bartito, that isn't very nice. Don't worry about him. It's just that new students who don't behave go missing every once in a while. Y you mean the ghost witch? She is but a single problem. It is far more dangerous to open secret doors. This tower was once the castle of the feared Archmage who terrified the world. There are rooms beyond closed doors that are still enchanted by his magic. Don't be led around by your curiosity. Although, I doubt you'll heed my warning. I can already picture you doing something stupid. Perhaps something... regretful. I assume you're trying to insult me. Maybe you were right about me. Why, I even feel like summoning the Archmage. Now, if you'll excuse me. Welcome, Lilith. It's nice to meet you. Don't leave me alone with him! <sighs> hmm. Have we ever met before? No, that's impossible. Forget it. I have to go help Dr. Chartreuse with his experiments now. See you later. Oh, yeah. My name is Bartido Ballantyne. Be sure to remember it. I won't do it because you told me to. you how to build your magic to use the power of fairies. Fairies can fly around freely and can even pass right through walls and floors. But unlike the elves, these ladies are freewheeling and hard to control. If you can get them to cooperate, you'll find their magical bows quite useful. Not very nice, old man. Are you saying that we're selfish? What are you girls doing out here? Well, it can't be helped now. It's time to practice, Miss Lilith. So you're the magician today? This better be worth it. There are some demons around, but don't worry. The fairy's arrows are strong. Now go on. Don't be afraid to lead them. Your allies are on the bottom floor. 
To gather mana from the crystal, you must gain control of the crystal. Command the elves to envelop the crystal with the pixie's shrub. Here I go, Professor. crystal now. Should we bring the mana to the rune? In order to summon fairies from the rune, fairy ring, you must upgrade your rune by one level using mana. Go ahead and try it.
try summoning enough fairies to get rid of all the demons in this room. But be careful. When they are badly hurt, they return to their own world. Counting on you! Hello? 
My name is Lilith Blonde. Are you a magician in training too? I am Amaretta. I have been living here for two months now. I just got here two days ago. It's nice to meet you. Such a healthy body. Oh, I'm sorry. I like your smile. Can I touch it? Huh? Um, sure. <laughs> ah! Aren't we quick to get around? Good afternoon, my mischievous uncle. Why are you still following me around? If you want something, please tell me. My dear, the only thing that concerns me right now is how you are doing. From your head to those slender legs, how does it feel deep inside that body? Just looking at you is enough to pique my interest. What can I say? P please stop it! You're making her uncomfortable! Mind yourself, or your uncouth soul will learn the devil's definition of immoral. Oh dear me, how vulgar. Forgive me. Correction, your soul is rustic. <sighs> Leave me alone! You must be a new student. Pleased to meet you. I am Advocate. I teach sorcery. You teach? You're a teacher? Though I doubt he deserves your respect. Shouldn't you tell her what you are? As you wish. What you call destruction, sin, or simply evil is my very nature. Simply put, I am a devil. A devil? Like, with hooves and horns? Please. Those inferior misconceptions are getting old, even by devil standards. Your ignorant friend has spoiled my mood. I shall entertain you later, Amoretta. His advances always make me nervous. You saved me. Let me thank you. Uh, it was no problem. Miss Lilith. Of course, Professor. Becoming a magician is very important to me and my family. Blind passion is a privilege of youth. You can't sprint forever. But my heart races and I can't calm down. I can't help but want to learn more. <laughs> very well. I shall teach you all you'd like. After all, this is a school. But I was surprised to find that there's a devil teaching here. Oh, here. I suppose it is startling at first, but there's not a finer teacher. Who better to learn the craft of sorcery from than a devil? But he is a devil, right? <laughs> he can't play any tricks here. He's only a teacher posing as a gentleman. And appearance-wise, there is someone... Well, you'll find out soon enough. Now, let's begin. Today, I'll teach you magic defense against spirits and demons. Talismans declare sanctuary. The power of spirits work towards the gem, and this power protects its surroundings. Now, try to protect your own room, and at the same time, destroy mine. All right, Lilith. Focus.
something? I'll do my best. Okay. You want something? How to go about this?
want something?
my call. You're a quick learner. It may be early, but you can move on to the next course. Go see Miss Opalneria tomorrow. I will inform her that you will be coming. Thanks, everyone. Did I scare you? Hi, I'm Chartreuse, the alchemy teacher. A lion teacher? What's going on here? It's a sort of transformation incantation. High-level stuff and quite rare. Yes, Chartreuse was a handsome boy. But now he's just a miserable beast. Opal Neria. Looks are meaningless to those who can see inner qualities. Your skin, as white as a blanket of snow, it was delightfully pale. But now, I'm covered in fur. I'm not the same man you fell in love with. Your body, slender like an ivory doll. Your blonde hair, soft and shiny. I'm sure my bristly hair and muscular shoulders don't do anything for you. That's because you refuse. Let me love you, and your curse will be lifted. I would prefer that you stop disturbing my research and my curse. Besides, I don't have time for love or hate, even with immortality. Liar. Tell that to your little doll. If you're talking about Amaretta, you're wrong. You're wrong and you're sick. Such petty excuses. This isn't over. Even under threat of torture or death, I will still never give up on you. Um, I think I should be going now. Excuse me. Ooh, that was awkward. A devil, a lion, and then her. There are so many strange teachers here. <laughs> So, you're the new student, Lilit Blan. Hmm, forget everything you saw yesterday, all right? Now, let's begin the lecture. Necromancy is a holy magic, and yet it is categorized as a dark art. This is because we must control death and contact the miracles of God, souls. Ghosts are intangible, like illusions. They are special beings called astrals, made of matter that is not of this world. Unless your power affects astrals, you don't stand a chance against ghosts. Lilith Blan, do you understand? Yes. So normal physical attacks won't work against astrals. Also, necromancy has a great advantage over demonic forces. The power of sublimated spirits is similar to the greater power that evil fears. Only through the pleasures and pain of flesh can devils tempt man. Therefore, a strong will with no body is their most undesirable opponent. Now come. I forbid you to use any runes other than necromancy. Open the grimoire I gave you. Work your faded souls, and like the elves, force them to collect mana. Then, awaken the ghost knight. None are more reliable and frightening than they. Here I go, Professor.
go about this.
go about this. Bring him down! I'm counting on you! How to go about this? Destroy the room! go about this. You've got this! Stay on guard, everyone! You've got this! Ghosts would be scary, but I think I can get along well with them. As Sir Gamel mentioned, I see there is potential in you. <laughs> well done. Thanks, everyone. Do not wander. There is a dangerous rune laid out in the room beyond that door. Read that special grimoire I gave you. It will help you contact various ghosts. Yes, ma'am. I'll memorize every word of it. Who's there? Come out. I just dropped by to visit, Opalnaria. You have such great taste in decor. What do you want? It's never good to have devils walking around in your room. Does that mean tea is out of the question? With that rune formation, a typical imp would fall victim to your forces. Get out! If it wasn't for Sir Gamel, I would have purged you a long time ago. That is easier said than done, my dear. Though I could always break your heart. This is some kind of joke, right? Stay back, Lilith. Do not take me lightly. I can subdue any devil I choose. Oh. I surrender to your dreadful necromancy. You have too many pale friends. 
No wonder you guard the soul container. Look, you even have my legs shaking. I shall leave now. Any rational devil would wisely make the same decision. I don't care what you know about seals. You will never be able to break my runes. Is that so? You almost sound convinced. The world doesn't concede to one's will. For example, your budding love life. <laughs> Opalneria? Return to your room at once. Understand? Oh, so sweet. 